Okay, this is uh, this boat out here. Well, I'm known as the grumpy vlogger. I'll ride the same longer. Please do me the ado and kindly view me on YouTube. Okay, this is the river. I'm using my uh, uh, DJI action cam. I'm just doing some video here. Uh, is that your boat? James, which is your boat? Down that, that one? Right next to the great big one? Yeah, right beside the tug. Right beside the tug, okay. I'm going to shut this off. Real. Okay, this is uh, this boat out here you can see it right next to that great big boat there's another boat you can just see the top of and that is my son's boat uh, the sea valves were left open uh, just this is the river I mean this this is actually out of the river okay this is this highway right now it goes clear across the highway and back over here I'm gonna get some video with my big camera but I'm not gonna launch my drone it's too windy I was gonna bring my drone to launch but I'm not going to okay uh, I'm gonna do some narrating here this is uh, you see the boat in the water there uh, that was James's boat man these are going through too fast uh, there's another shot of the boat in the water. That's James's. There's some of the flooding out on the land. As uh, you see some of the birds out there, sandpipers and stuff. This is the uh, uh, building where uh, uh, this is part of the uh, Three Forks Landing Museum. There is part of the marina. Uh, some more of the uh, storage. There's some of the boats that are stored out there. Yeah, as you see in the background, that's the OG and E plant. There's my daughter-in-law Kim walking down to the river. I'll have some more of her. I have a few of her pictures in here already. Uh, this is just some of the devastating flooding. There's my son James, chief of police uh, for Connor State College, and uh, uh, there's one of the guys out there is working. Uh, he's running the boats, and those are high wires. I mean, those are those those. You can see how deep it is. Uh, some areas are deeper than the other. Mind you, this is all up on, and here's some more. And again, this is the video that I filmed. I switched over to my uh, Canon SL2, and I did not have a tripod or anything. I was just holding it by hand. It was windy out there. I was shaky. I was trying to get some good shots with the lens. I had a heavy lens on, and I should have had a gimbal or a tripod. That boat sitting in the water, it just looks like a little deck there next to that big steel structure and boat. And there again, that's my son, J Chief of Police James Mendenhall. And there's a tug you see over there, down there towards the to where the water crosses the highway. There is my daughter-in-law Kim taking some more pictures, which I'll add some more of her stuff in here. She was kind enough to share it with me. Uh, this video is running way longer, but as you can see, it's crossed the highway. It's just really gotten. It's just unbelievable. It is at 46 feet above flood stage right there uh or right now and it's expected to uh get up to 48 feet while we were on our way out there we got a warning there's a uh, part of the coal plant coal processing plant that goes with uh, the uh, og and &E. i think that's what that is i couldn't get a confirmation what that actually is but it's part of the og and &E complex which is oklahoma gas and electric that's part of our power plant that's what those three stacks are that's our power plant there's one of the big tugs there and right next to that tug, that structure that the tug is sitting in, right next to it, you can just see the top of their boat. Now, mind you, this is a tall boat, but it came off of the blocks. Uh, the sea valves were open, and so it sunk, <laughs> unfortunately. And it's probably going to be a total loss. And uh, 
I did, again, apologize for the shakiness of my camera. I didn't have it on a tripod or a handheld device. They are loading the boat right on the side of the road. Now, normally, that's about 15 feet down in there because uh, it, but as you can see, the water's rushing, and you could actually hear the water sound like white cap roaring water. Uh, that's rushing through, and that's where it's decided to just skip the loop up there and just go, right straight across because i mean it's it is out of its banks everywhere this is going to be a history making uh event in which uh they said it's the worst worst case scenario catastrophic uh flooding and they said that uh, you'll see back in there somewhere there's going to be some pictures coming up that i have uh, where you can actually see houses back in there, and it is up to the eaves uh, in some of those houses that are along the riverbank. It's just, guys, it, unless you're standing there, and this is really crap video, I apologize, but I wanted to get it up here. See, they're loading the boat up now. They've been going up and down, checking the boats and checking stuff along. Yes, those are railroad crossings. That's what I was after right there. I was trying to get to railroad crossings, okay? And, yes, the blinking lights... And what that is, is that's a railroad track in which they take, uh, they, you know, they, they take the uh, coal into process because we, ours is a coal burning plant. Uh, I think they switched to natural gas, but uh, I think they still have some coal out there. So this is, there's those railroad crossings I was trying to get. I just decided to snap pictures. It was easier, but the lights were blinking. There is an up close and personal of that water rushing across and it was moving pretty quick. Uh, <clears throat> this is just the worst kind of flooding you can imagine. I apologize for, you know, the way this looks. I'm going to have... This was shot from the back of the patrol car. And uh, I've got... And there's the road there. And uh, I was riding in the back of the patrol car. And I'm going to have another little clip at the end where I talk about that. Uh, and... Uh, riding back there it was uncomfortable i'll tell you i just don't ever want to do that again so i'm going to stop this for right now okay this little shot right here is running parallel to the uh highway as we were coming back into town so anyways this is about the end of the videos right here and then i'll have this other scene here okay folks i'm not going to say where i'm at but i'm doing a little bit of a ride along in the back seat with somebody and uh you know, typical Oklahoma, it's, was this Memorial Day weekend, right? Okay, Memorial Day weekend, and we're sitting here, and comes across the scanner, and this is just typical way how crazy things are. I've got a bunch of footage and uh, uh, pictures and video from out at the uh, flood area. I could not get my drone up today. It was too windy, and I wasn't going to take the chance. So anyways, uh, as we're sitting here, it comes across the radio, that there is a black male without a shirt riding his riding lawnmower down the street. That's what we do on Memorial Day weekend. We have, huh? With the baby. Do what? With the baby. With the baby, okay. <laughs> With the baby on his lap. You know, you got to get there. Maybe he had to go get the baby some diapers. Who knows? But <laughs> that's 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 how we roll in oklahoma on memorial day weekend with floods you know let's just take the baby out for a ride on the lawnmower who cares you know all right that's good that, that would be a fun one to look at but we're gonna i'm gonna let that one go but i had to tell you guys that story dad just a little addendum to all this other stuff the silliness still goes on in spite of the tragedies of oklahoma so anyways catch you guys later i'm the grumpy vlogger i'm out of here bye and don't forget to subscribe or check out what's up here don't forget to subscribe to like check out what's over here and what's over here you be nice to everybody okay i'm the grumpy vlogger i'm out of here bye bye for now